Well, he's back for his third YouTube channel video. I'm proud to wear him on my shirt. But you know what? He's so much better in person. Come on up and say hi to your mini fans, Bruce. Hi, everybody. This is your friend and his Bruce. Bruce the Moose. Wow, Bruce, YouTube buzz is that a star was born on your last video. Yeah, Josie our cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to hand it to you, buddy. For her unscripted performance, she's being besieged by producers wanting to do cat videos. And you don't seem a bit jealous. Well, the Apostle Paul says to esteem others better than yourself by serving them. I like the humility I hear you saying, buddy. I'm saying that Josie is way better at being a cat than I'll ever be. <laughs> no doubt, Bruce, but wow, Josie can't open and close her own video by playing her own song on the piano. You know what, I can't figure it out though. Considering a, a moose's anatomy, I can't see how in the world you played the piano. I play by ear. <laughs> I remember you told us last time that your ears are 60 times bigger than a human's. I don't mean you personally, but a real full-size moose. So 60 times bigger than a human's Hey, I don't think you can push piano keys down with your ears. Don't be silly, Cowboy Rob. This song I've written isn't even written. <laughs> no sheet music? Nah, this way nobody knows if I make a mistake. I guess that's true. Well, I hope all the boys and girls watching, whatever age they might be, will be inspired by you, by your example to learn to play a piano or, you know, it's good to learn to play another instrument as well. They have so much proof that learning to play an instrument is good for your developing your mind and sharpening it. I think God plays piano up there on his crystal sea of glass. Bruce, why do you say that? God doesn't play second fiddle to anybody. You're so right about that, Bruce. All through the Bible, we see the utmost importance of music to God. Remember at the dedication of Solomon's temple, God's presence entered the temple when the singers and the musicians played the very first note in harmony. Wow, that should inspire a choir. It should, but our moose choir always takes a few measures. And no doubt, because all that courtship bellowing in sync is tough to get. Any last advice about learning to play a piano, Bruce? Yes. Be careful that you tickle the ivory on a Steinway and not on an elephant. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, Bruce, I'm sure we'd like to know the name of that piano piece that you started out the, the video with. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, but what's the name? Thank you. Hey, who do you think you are, buddy? Abbott and Costello, who? Who?
Who's on first? <laughs> Bruce, you cut that out. Cowboy Rob. Yeah, Bruce. Would you sing a song with me? Like we did the first two videos? Yeah, I guess that would be fun to do, Bruce. Hey, you know what? I heard people saying that we sounded like the Carpenters. They said we sounded like two buzz saws and a clanging hammer. Oh, what do they know? Hey, well, what song do you want to sing? One of the Carpenters' big hits, Close to You. Hey, love it, but hey, that's uh, not six feet apart. Love that. Hey, you get us going, Bruce, and I'll jump in with you. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Hey, Bruce, singing a duet with you never gets old. You know you're old when your back goes out more than you do. Well, Bruce, have you been able to get out much during this COVID pandemic? Yeah, since our antlers spread up to six feet in to end, anybody who doesn't practice social distancing gets prodded into compliance soon enough. Well, yours, yours are not really six feet apart, but, uh, and I can't get uh, get you six feet away because my arm's not long enough. Let me ask you a question, Cowboy Rob. Shoot, Bruce. Why'd your mom name you? Well, she named all my sisters starting with J, and she was going to name all the boys starting with R, so she thought about calling me Rory after a popular TV cowboy in the 50s and the 60s. Ha! Huh. Bruce the Moose and Cowboy Rory! Cut that out, Bruce. Rory Calhoun chose his last name for TV because it sounded Irish. Cowboy Rob? Yeah, Bruce. How do you confuse an Irish man? Well, if anyone would know, Bruce, it would be you, because you confuse me all the time. Okay, I'll bite. How do you confuse an Irishman? Put three shovels against the wall and ask him to take his pick. Good one, Bruce. Tell me another one. Hey, uh, I'm, boy, I'm so thirsty. I've just got to get some water. What's Irish and sits? Hey, you're gonna mess up my joke. <laughs> On the porch. I have no idea. What's Irish and sits on the porch? Patio furniture. Good one, Bruce. Cowboy Rob. Yeah, Bruce. Like I always say, you ain't much of a cowboy, but you look like a pretty good ventriloquist. Well, thank you, Bruce. You don't move your mouth much at all. Well, thank you so much. Trouble is, you don't move your audience much either. Oh, thanks a lot. Well, then I guess we'd better move ourselves off the stage and 
Yeah, let's just go on, get off the stage. I know I've had fun making this video and sharing some fun tidbits. You got your word about <laughs> moves. Well, that's great, Bruce. We've had a great time, but say good night. Say goodbye for now to to all your fans out there. Bye, everybody.